Hey guys, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I thought I would do a tutorial on just some bright clean tones. Uh, this is actually a request from one of my viewers. It was requested on Instagram just for um, how I edited this photo and how I got those really um, neutral kind of looking tones. And it's a pretty easy tutorial overall and it's pretty quick too. I'm trying to get through as many requests as possible at the moment. I do have a bit of a list that's growing but uh, I will try and do as many as possible. Anyway to start off with this tutorial we're just going to bring up curves in our adjustment layers. So we're going to just make some adjustments with the curves. I'm going to enter in a few points. Uh, so the first point is 11 and 0 and the next point will be 38 and 34. Then the next point will be 124 and 115. And then the next point will be 221 and 214. Then the last point will just be 255. So what we've done with that curves layer has just brightened it up a little bit, uh, particularly within the mid-tone and just with the skin tone too. These particular adjustments with curves I use quite a bit. Um, it's a very similar uh, style to what I use in a lot of my photographs just because that's how I like to edit my images and that's kind of my style. I just like to sort of bring up the shadows a little bit uh, so they're not so dark and yeah just kind of have that S curve going on there. So the next uh, adjustment we're going to make we're actually going to bring up a solid color and the solid color will be A26 F6F and it's kind of like a pinkish orange color. We're going to set this one to lighten at 28% and this is going to give us kind of like a base tone for the image so it's going to be kind of like a pink toned image so that's what that has done. It's filled in a lot of the shadows in the image and the darker areas and the next color we're going to bring up is 463 F31 and this one's kind of like a horrible looking brown color, but I promise it will look better after we've made some other adjustments. So this one is going to be set to soft light at 10%. So this one's just given us a little bit more contrast, as you can see. Um, just kind of brought down the brightness a little bit. And it's kind of just toned down the pink a little bit more. Okay, and then we're going to bring up levels. And we're going to move this in just so we get a little bit of the darkness back in the shadows, but we still retain the pink tone. So we'll probably leave that at about 18. And we'll just bring up this end as well, the highlights, probably to around 249 is fine, I think. Okay, we're going to leave the mid tones as is. Then we're going to get selective color up. And we're just going to work on the whites, neutrals and blacks as I usually do. So cyan will be minus 9, magenta will be minus 12, yellow will be minus 7, and black will be 0. The neutrals, so cyan will be minus 1, and magenta will be minus 2, yellow will be minus 2, and black will be 0. Then black, we will change cyan to plus 4 and magenta 2 plus 1, then yellow 2 plus 9, and then we'll just leave the black as 0. So I'm going to show you guys a before and after now. So this is the before, and that's the after. So these tones are really good if you don't want to make too many adjustments to your photos, you just want some simple clean tones that are going to look nice um, in your photographs. I know with a lot of photos that I take I don't want to go crazy with colouring um, as much as I like to in a lot of images. There's just some photos where I feel like you, you're you better off probably just sticking with simpler clean tones. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and um, I hopefully will be getting through some more requests soon, so please stay tuned for that. I am also getting together a few sets of actions to sell on my website, hopefully. Uh, so look out for those too if you guys are interested. Uh, I'm trying to compile the actions at the moment based on what people need most when they're editing. So I'm trying to work on a set of neutral tones at the moment. Uh, I'm working on a set of fashion tones uh, for editorial photographs. 
and just a couple of others that might not be available for a little bit longer but I will let you guys know when I do release them. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!